Hello, happy travelers. In this video, I'm going to show you what's inside this box. It's Japanese snacks. I'm also going to teach you some English vocabulary and Japanese vocabulary. The words I'm going to teach you are armchair traveler, unique, hospitality in English, or omotenashi in Japanese, snack, and souvenir in English, or omiyage in Japanese. Oh, hi! What am I doing? I'm armchair traveling. What does armchair travel mean? The dictionary says armchair is sometimes used to describe people who like to read about or watch the dangerous or exciting activities of other people. This is an armchair. If you sit in an armchair, you can travel in your mind by reading books or watching movies about a place. Armchair travel is an idiom, so we don't mean we have to sit in an armchair. We could sit on other things like couches, office chairs, or dining room chairs. We could sit in a coffee shop. We could even stand on our heads. The meaning is that we stay at home or in our home city, but we experience or learn about another place. I found a unique way to armchair travel. I bought this box of special Japanese snacks from a website called Boksu. It's impossible to travel to Japan right now, but I can try some Japanese snacks in my house. Boksu is not like other snack boxes that you can order on the internet. The Boksu company makes connections with many businesses in Japan. Some of the businesses are more than 200 years old. Some of the businesses are owned by one family. Also, you can't buy these snacks in other countries, only in Japan. This makes Boksu very unique. What does unique mean? The dictionary says that unique means very special or unusual. We usually use unique to describe something that is special and different. Unique things are often the only one. For example, a unique snack in Canada is ketchup flavored potato chips. You can't easily find this flavor of potato chips in another country. But we can't say that potato chips are a unique snack in Canada. You can easily find potato chips in many other countries in the world. The ketchup flavor is what makes these chips unique. What makes boksu unique? You probably won't find these snacks at a convenience store in Japan. They are from many small businesses in many parts of Japan. What does omotenashi or hospitality mean? Omotenashi is very important in Japanese culture. Omotenashi is translated as hospitality in English. The dictionary says hospitality is generous and friendly treatment of visitors and guests. Canadian businesses are good at showing hospitality but Japanese businesses take it to the next level. Customers and guests are always treated very well in Japan. For example, if you are a guest at a yokan or traditional inn, you will get some tea and a small snack when you arrive. The snacks that I got in my boksu box are very similar to what you might get at a ryokan. What does snack mean? You can translate the word snack using a dictionary or Google Translate, but it might not be exactly the meaning you want. 
The dictionary says snack is a small amount of food eaten between meals. It could be cookies or potato chips, but we also talk about having a healthy snack, like vegetable sticks. In some other cultures, a snack is the specific kind of food. The food that is in this box are all snacks. It doesn't matter when you eat them or how much you eat. If someone ate this whole box for lunch, they would still be snacks. I don't know why someone would want to do that. What does omiyage or souvenir mean? All of the snacks in this box come from different places in Japan. This kind of souvenir is very popular in Japan. Every prefecture has its own unique snacks. When Japanese people go on a business trip or vacation, they always bring omiyage back for their co workers, family, and friends. Omiyage is translated as souvenir in English, but the meaning is a little different. The dictionary says souvenir means something that is kept as a reminder of a place you have visited or an event you have been to. When Canadians think of a souvenir, they might think of a t shirt, keychain, fridge magnet, or mug. When Japanese think of omiyage, I've learned that they usually think of a small snack from the place they visited. In the boxu box, there is a small book that tells you information about each snack. Welcome to the 2020 Snack Awards. We will see some of the best snacks from the Boxu Seasons of Japan snack box. If you would like to review how to add EST to adjectives, please follow the badge in the top right corner. The first award is for the sweetest snack. This award goes to Matcha Chocolate Stick Cake from Nakajima Taishodo in Osaka. The next award is for the cutest snack. This award goes to Puka Puka Thai Chocolate from Meito Sangyo in Aichi. The next award is for the healthiest snack. This award goes to Black Sesame Taiko Kumamon Design from Iwata Corporation in Kumamoto. The next award is for the most traditional snack. This award goes to Hokkaido Red Bean Donuts from Honma in Hokkaido. The next award is for the most unique snack. This award goes to White Strawberry. This is a special snack that is unique to Boksu and comes from Nagano. And the best snack of the 2020 Snack Awards is Funwari Meijin Mochi Puffs Kinako from Eichigo Seika in Niigata. Thank you to all the snacks that participated in this contest. You are all delicious. Let's review the vocabulary we learned today. Which picture shows an armchair traveler? Which pictures show unique? Which people are showing hospitality or omotenashi? Which picture is not a snack in Canada or Japan? Which picture shows souvenirs? Which picture shows omiyage?
You can talk about these questions with a friend or type your answers in the comments of this video. Are you an armchair traveler? What places do you like to learn about? What is unique about your country? How do people show hospitality in your country? What are some unique snacks in your country? What kinds of souvenirs do you usually buy? What is a suggestion for a souvenir from your country? If you want your own box of Japanese snacks, there's a link in the description for $10 off. See you next time! Happy travels!